Office 365 users, this is Marie Henderson. In this video, we're going to look at getting a share link from our OneDrive and creating a shortened URL for it using the tiny URL website. Frequently when I'm presenting or sharing information with a group and I will not have a link posted somewhere like in my Canvas course or on my district website or something, I want to share with participants in a session a link that they can easily type into their computer to access some content. And so this is a great way to do that. OneDrive recently updated the menu over here, and so now there's this expandable button to make the navigation bar pop out. And so I'll go over here to my files. For instance, if I'm wanting to share something from my professional learning folder here, I can click on the circle next to the name of the file. And then up here at the top, I'm going to click to copy link. You can decide at that point whether or not you want the person or persons who are accessing that to be able to edit it. If you click on the settings, you can change that quickly and easily. You can also here at the top decide if the people accessing the content are ones who need to log in. Maybe the content you're sharing is copyrighted and you can only share it within your school district or workplace environment. And so if that's the case, you can choose this people in and your organization URL will show there. And then down here at the bottom, you can switch this from edit to view only if you're so inclined. You can also set a password on the file, but I would discourage you from doing that as I've seen it backfire on people when they're trying to share something quickly and easily. And so we're gonna click here to apply. So now my file is view only and, and currently anyone can access it. And so it's copied to my clipboard and I can go over here to the URL shortener. This is just tinyurl.com. And I can paste in, so just control V, V is in Victor, paste in the link, and then I can customize it. And so I click to shorten the URL, and now I can copy that to my clipboard, and I can paste it, for instance, into a PowerPoint or whatever it is I'm going to project during my meeting or presentation. And my users will be able to quickly and easily access that file. As always, if you have questions or need further assistance, please don't hesitate to reach out. Thanks, and have a great day.